what's up everyone christina welcome to my living room um i just wanted to connect very very quickly well first of all hi uh welcome back to my my page as well i was preparing some lunch for myself and i was just like going back and forth with all the messages that i'm that i'm getting daily reading all the comments because it is me taking care of uh, all my pages on Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram. Uh, and I do read your comments because I value your opinion. <clears throat> I'm very interested in what you think about um, what we're doing. That doesn't mean that uh, I'm going to be influenced by whatever people say about me, but I do pay attention. And there is one thing that really, really grabbed my attention and I just wanted to talk with you guys for a uh, very few minutes. Uh, some of you commented about the fact that uh, the pictures that I post on Instagram or or not only the pictures but when when they see me around that they are like oh but you look different from from the pictures and this is because not because my facial features are are different but it is because I don't um I use makeup all the time. I don't have uh, stage makeup uh, all the time. I'm not dressed up all the time. And I just want to clarify that beside the fact that uh, there is a Christina Scabia on stage, that there is a Christina Scabia in the everyday life that are not separated, but uh, obviously when I'm going around with my friends, I'm not all dolled up as I would for a, for a photo shoot I will not have tons of makeup because the lights are going to reflecting uh, in in a, in a completely different way but uh what I wanted to tell you is you know how strongly believe that each one of us is unique and special and about how we should be enhancing the differences instead of like trying to be uh all looking the same in the meantime, it is, it is a pity that you cannot smell what I'm cooking because it is awesome! Sorry, it's a little dark. Uh, what I was telling you, what I was telling you is, what is the effing point of telling you that you should believe in yourself, that you shouldn't care about the wrinkle, the pimple, the extra weight according to what society tell you or perfect hair look at my hair today I don't care I do not care I'm cooking it's a beautiful day I am excited because I have a ceiling above my head I have a I have a nice house uh, I love my job I have a lot of friends what is the point to tell you that you have to be yourself and you have to be proud of yourself if I go around dressed up all the time. Sometimes I, I check other, other profiles, uh, sometimes of people that I don't even know, and they are all like super perfect, uh, photoshopped to death. And they're telling you that you should be proud of who you are. You should be proud of who you are regardless. Regardless if that day you have a pimple, regardless uh, if you don't have like a French nose, regardless if your skin is different, this is a box. I know it sounds so obvious, but what's really important, it's inside of you. You could be the most beautiful, good looking person in the world, but worth fucking nothing if people doesn't have the pleasure to be with you if you don't have friends that are wanting to be in your company and this is not because you're good looking and if they stay with you because if you're good looking well question yourself what what friends do you have and, and this is why you see me like this okay i have a little bit of mascara i have a little bit of of lipstick today but this is what I am, and that's why I do not care if I put an extra kilo on, if if you guys see me 
like this and not super perfect and not in my stage outfits all the time after show. This is because it doesn't make any sense if I doll up and tell you to be yourself and you have to be proud of yourself because this would be a fake representation of, of who I am. So there we go. I said that I was going to be uh, pretty, pretty quick and fast about it as usual. I'm an Italian woman and I do a lot of talking as you guys know. That's what I wanted to say. Uh, so don't pay attention if you see super photoshopped pictures and uh, people telling you like, oh, she, you should be proud of who you are, you know, like, look at your uh, inner beauty. Uh, do it for real, do it for real. But at the same time, don't judge other people if they have things that you consider flaws, because in the end, it's it comes to you personal judgment i i honestly do not care i am for example i'm a big fan of like um how do you call them uh, under eyes bags i found them extremely fascinating on people and i mean i know a lot of people that consider them flaws so it doesn't it doesn't really matter because i mean it it all comes with the big picture it's not all about your uh, physical appearance uh, only because if he was like that uh, Think about so many models that are considered of course beautiful. They're single they're uh, that they, they've been saying in interviews that sometimes they're sad they're miserable in their life Because it doesn't make any sense to focus only on Appearance of course, I'm not gonna say that you don't have to take care of yourself that you don't have to wash your hair or wash your face in the morning but I believe that you get the point. Uh, I'm going to read your comments later. Uh, if there is something that you want to talk about, just like comment down below. Uh, and we'll talk about it. There you go. Uh, anyway, my pasta is almost ready. I am starving. And it was nice talking to you. So be yourself. But be yourself for real. Not only when you're Photoshop and super beautiful and would like a face like... Instagram face, right? <laughs> All right, guys, wherever you are, have a good one. Ciao, talk to you soon.